Hey guys, what is up? Austin here, AKA Boat Tie Guy 97 Today I have an installation video for you guys and it's not, uh, it's not performance or cosmetic or anything like that. Well, it's technically performance. It's just something that goes bad on just about every vehicle you got and that is O2 sensors. <clears throat> about a couple weeks ago, I got a check engine light, went down to advance, ran the code. Uh, oxygen sensor bank two, sensor two. There are four sensors in these trucks. This is a 2004 Silverado with a 5.3. Uh, this is going to go for any of your pretty much 02 through 07 and a half uh, Silverado, Sierra, Yukon, uh, Tahoe, Suburban, uh, all of them uh, with the 5.3. So it's a common part. They go bad. <clears throat> what I have here is just the stock Denso. Uh, replacement from advanced auto parts it's like forty dollars and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get under the truck here and we're gonna take this out this is gonna be an extremely easy install anybody can do this uh, but i've went ahead and disconnected the battery as for, you know it's funny because people it's like if you if you even like change the tires on your car it's disconnect the battery I don't understand what the, it's like, that is like the number one thing that everybody tells you to do. I mean, if it's electronic, then yeah, but it cracks me up when I watch the installation videos and they say disconnect the, <laughs> disconnect the battery before you do anything else. And it blows my mind. So the tools that we're gonna use today is my hands and an adjustable wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff together and show you why all we need is an adjustable wrench. All right guys, so we are under the truck here. Um, now, what you need to understand about your banks, your driver's side is bank one, your passenger side is bank two. Like I said, there are four sensors. The uh, sensor one, bank one, is the one uh, before the cat. Sensor two, bank one, is after the cat. And repeat the same for the bank two. Sensor one is up there. Sensor two is right here. This is the one that is faulty. Now, if you look up here on your frame, here is the connector. And what it did is it set right in here. I went ahead and unplugged it. Here is the end of the, uh, the O2 sensor right there. Uh, in, true, in true fashion, I'm missing my adjustable wrench. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this wire. It's junk anyway, we don't need it. So I can slide a wrench over that, uh, the nut there on the O2 sensor and we'll just take it off that way. It's no big deal. All right, so as you guys can see here, I just cut off the uh, line, slipped on a wrench, you know, lefty loosey righty tidy. And it probably goes without saying, make sure you let your truck cool down a little bit because these pipes do get hot. Uh, so, you know, I, I let, it's a cool day. I let mine sit for like 15, 20 minutes. It's fine. Uh, it's not burning me. So all you do is I've got to went ahead and broke it loose here and uh, she'll just screw one out and then we'll screw the new one in. So before I put these, uh, this new sensor in, I wanna show you all the difference. See, there is the old one. That thing is black, covered in all types of crap. There is the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this one in. Um, for those of you who don't know what it does, is it adjusts the air fuel ratio. It, it, see, it sees, you know, when your exhaust is coming out, it lets the computer adjust the fuel and you know it, it can really decrease your mileage and your horsepower and everything else if these are not working properly um you know it's it's very important that you have these especially with newer vehicles that are all you know electronic ignition and the all the computer stuff that's in them today so this is very crucial to your mileage and everything else so you definitely want if you get a code for these they don't cost a lot of money get you one get it put in it's, it's going to save you money especially if your gas your gas mileage is tanking for 40 bucks you're going to lose 40 bucks in a week depending on how much you drive if you lose the mileage so let's go ahead and put this in all righty so i went ahead and got her tight with the open end of the wrench so now i'll just take the new plug here and plug it into the old plug which is right there. And I'm gonna have to set the camera down because I can't do that with one hand. Alrighty, and there we go. I plugged it in. You see this little pin that slides down in that hole in the frame that holds it still and holds it up on the top of the frame. You don't want that falling down and getting a bunch of crud up inside of it. So we're plugged back up here, real easy, simple install. It literally took me more time to get uh, <laughs> the tools together than it did to actually put it in there. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. They give you instructions, but you know, screw instructions, nobody reads those anyway. I'm kidding, always read your instructions. So what I'm gonna do is, here in a second, I'm gonna hook the battery back up and start the truck and see if that check engine light went away. Okay guys, so I got real scared there for a second. After unplugging my battery and I plugged it back in, 
the truck would not start. Um, I had an unknown driver screen and all this other crap. Something was screwy with the truck. Disconnected the battery, plugged it back in, and we're fine now. No, uh, no check engine light, but I was really kind of worried there for a second because I have no idea what happened. But if you have that same issue or you know, it won't start after you replace that, I guess disconnect your battery and plug it back in. That was probably just a problem with my truck. I've had I've had some computer troubles in the past with this truck, um, but I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like I said, it's just a Denso O2 sensor I got from Advanced Auto Parts, like 40 something bucks. Really easy install, it took no time. Obviously, length of the video is only a few minutes long. So very easy, very simple. You can do it yourself. If they were the bank, or they were, they were both sensor ones, it'd take you a little bit longer because you have to kind of get yourself up in there to get them. But sensor twos are the easy ones. So nothing major going on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil in the truck and she'll be ready for the lift. Obviously I filmed this before I did the lift kit on the truck. So I just wanted to get everything done so it's ready when we go ahead and put up on a lift and get the lift on. So I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I hopefully make some more videos like this. I really enjoy doing them for you. Hope this helped you out. Uh, I try to read all the comments. If you got any questions, drop them down below. Take care and have a great day.